I'm using today is a pink tag and that has a 3mm tungsten bead on it that's on the point and then down to <coughs> we hairs here which has 2mm bead on it or 1.5 can't remember and then on down to one of these thingamabobbers some people don't like using these but I say whatever if it's fishing it's fashion and it's bloody raining as well Tying up two flies today. First one is my favourite fly for grayling and brown trout. Fat and tail nymph. Gonna be using size 14, B175, and you only need two materials for this. You just need pheasant tail and copper wire. So you just go on at the eye of the hook and this stuff is slippy so it can be annoying to get started but you want to leave a bit of a tag end because you're going to be bringing that back up for the rib so you just take your wire all the way down to the bend of the hook then you get your pheasant tail about eight fibers. Line them up. So you line these up. Then I just go for a single turn over the top tighten it down a wee bit and bring it up to the length. I don't want my tail. Let's say right there. And bring over another turn, tighten in those fibers. 
bring the pheasant tail back. And then bring the wire about two thirds of the way up. There. And I go wrap the pheasant tail the opposite way up the hook. fibers on top of the hook. Take it right up to the eye. And you want to build up a small head. Times. Lock that off. And you want to come back over the top with these fibers. Spread them out as best you can. Go over with one wrap. Keep that tight. And then I go with a two turn whip finish. And you just want to find your scissors and chop off these fibers as close as you can. And I like to put Drop a bug bond on the head. Just strengthen the fly a bit. I think it looks better as well. Spread that out if you need to. Set it with a torch. There you have it. Pheasant tail nymph. Next fly I'm going to be tying is really good for growling. It's a pink tag. Using a size 14 jig hook. Using 4mm tungsten slotted bead. To start off, you want to use a bit of lead wire just to secure this bead in. Give it a good few wraps. Break it off. And push that in to the bead. That should secure it. And I'm using dark brown UTC thread. Start off the eye of the hook with the bead. Then go down to the bend of the hook. So I'm using some of this pink glow bright. You just cut one length off, double it over, you just want to tie this in for the tag. Kill the excess. Cover that up. Then you take 
three strands. Peacock curl, cut the ends off. Tie these in. Cut off the excess. Then go right up to the bead. And then wind on your peacock curl. Tie that off. Cut off the excess. And you want to grab a couple of CDC feathers. Wherever they are. So grab a CDC feathers. Line them up. Pull out the fibers. Cut off the wee curly ends. You just want to set aside the CDC fibers and split your thread. CDC fibers in. Spread them out nicely. And give them a spin. Once you've given them a good spin, then just wind them on, pulling them back. As they go. <laughs> Stick a bit of varnish on the thread. Give it a whip finish. Cut the thread. Cut the tag. There you have pink tag. Get fashion there.